When the enemy comes in like a flood, sometimes life can be extremely difficult and tough. And the truth is, Christians are not exempt of the challenges of life. I would even go as far as saying that Christians have more challenges than unbelievers because Christians have to fight the flesh and the devil also. I am speaking to people right now who are going through challenging times. None of us have lived through a year like this. We are all going through a difficult time. The strange thing is, the whole world has been going through a difficult time. There is an air of uncertainty about how everything will pan out. We watch the news looking for some good news and yet somehow we keep hearing the same things. People are losing jobs, people are being laid off, and some of us are going through difficult, uncertain times in our personal lives where life has knocked you down. Life is ruthless. It really can be ruthless. It can dish you out some backstabbing things when you haven't done anything and you are innocent. Now you are in a hole, struggling with the feeling of being trapped down there with no help in sight and pain is all you can feel. But in the midst of all these attacks from life and the enemy, you don't have to stay there. You don't have to remain where life has dumped you. You have to pick yourself up. I know, I know, I know it's hard, but when the enemy launches at you and strikes with everything hell has to offer and you reach rock bottom, let this truth encourage you. Understand that you have a comeback power. So many times when we are badly hit by events that cause a major setback in our life, we are faced with two options. Firstly, to pick yourself up and continue your journey, even if you have to crawl or lay low and continue to pander to your pains forever. But most people choose the latter because it's quite the easier option or because they are scared of being hit again, but not you, not you. Those who choose the former are the children of God. Revelation 21, seven, he that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son. Overcomers are children of God. As believers, we need to know that our God does not encourage giving up. God has given you the power to never bend or fold in whatever situation you may face. How you may ask. First John 4, 4, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. The Holy Spirit has the power to give to you so that you can come back from insurmountable odds. Those that yield to the Holy Spirit, they are the ones who understand that they have a comeback power. The ones who understand that they have the inner power to withstand chaos and instability. An example of a biblical figure God gave a greater comeback after going through a really hard time and suffering loss is Job. Job chapter 1, 14 through 19. And a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them when the Sabaeans raided them and took them away. Indeed, they have killed the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was speaking, another also came and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, The Chaldeans formed three bands, raided the camels and took them away, yes, and killed the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And suddenly a great wind came across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you, I have heard of people having a bad day, 
but not quite as bad a day like Job. The tragedy and calamity that befell Job in just one day is too enormous to imagine. It's like seeing your own years of hard work burned down into ashes in your very own eyes while you just stand and watch helplessly. And some people this year have seen similar things. They poured years and years, hours into their business and they had to stop though no fault of their own. One would have expected Job to curse God or tell him how unjust he is, but Job didn't do any of that. Rather, in the last verse, the Bible recorded that, in all this Job sinned not, nor charts God foolishly, Job 1.22. And at some point in your life, you will go through unpleasant situations that will cause you pain and weigh you down, but you should learn that they are transient. They are not who you are or what defines your core. Learn to stop romanticizing and personalizing the problems in your life. Rather, choose to fight your way to freedom because God has deposited so much power in you. You only need to start living in the provision of the Holy Spirit. All challenges don't come to us because we are not doing enough because life is deliberately hitting us or the devil is trying to get us. Some challenges come to build up the strength we need for the journey ahead of us in life. And until we stop seeing ourselves as victims and facing our problems head on, we might not break through. God will always come through for you. If there be any assurance or persuasion we have in Christ, it's that he will always show up in our situation. God is not one to forsake or abandon his children. He won't give us more than we can handle at a time. He knows our breaking point and limit. So he's always on the other side, cheering us on and giving us the courage we need to finish strong. He isn't unaware of what we are going through. As a matter of fact, he knew this was going to happen at the exact time it is happening. Trust him for his inner strength and divine recovery. Even when life seems like nothing makes sense and there's no glimpse of hope in sight, know that God hasn't turned his back on you or forsaken you. He's right there with you, even when you are too numb to feel his presence. Life's challenges might want to take the better part of you and cause you to be weary, but it is vital you draw close to God so that he will draw closer to you too. Regardless of the insurmountable mountains ahead of you, he has a purpose for you. You will come out triumphantly. This is the greatest assurance there is in Christ Jesus. God is not a man that he would lie. Numbers 23, 19, God does not make promises that he will not fulfill. Mark 9, 23 tells us that all things are possible for the one who believes. God's ways are not our ways. God would have never allowed us to encounter those storms if they were going to keep us from reaching our destiny and purpose. We may question God and ask why he has allowed storms into our lives to be so severe to the point where we lose faith and hope. But I want you to remember that it is all part of the process. The good news is God is in control of the winds and the waves of the storm. He is in control of what's trying to stop you from reaching your dreams, purpose, and destiny. God only has to shift the winds. And instead of holding you back, they will push you forward. The storms were meant for your harm, but God will turn them to your advantage.